Hi, this is Yvonne Pran, and I'm going to talk about word clouds. I'm going to give you a brief overview, some tips, and just some starter how-tos on how to create them. Word clouds have long been a staple of websites where you see this grouping of words that comes up and tells you what is on the site. They're very useful to have you actually check the content of your site to see if you are doing all of the things that you want and that you say you're doing. But in addition to these very useful tools, word clouds are now so much more. You can also create very um, fun graphic word clouds like this, like this one, like this one, and then you can use them to create things like this. Here is a set of postcards. These are available for effective church communication members to uh, use, modify, um, they're available on the website, EffectiveChurchCom.com, but this gives you an idea of some of the things that you can create. Here is another set of postcards for Father's Day using the word cloud as the primary graphic. Here is something that I created, another word cloud that is somewhat of a logo for a women's ministry. And with one of the programs that I'm going to be showing you briefly, not only can you create a word cloud like this, but it's really fun where you can um, actually immediately go into a program that will allow you to create all kinds of accessories items with uh, with your word cloud on them t-shirts aprons um, bags I know many of you could just immediately visualize the things that you could do for a women's conference and stuff like that that would be just so much fun so there's lots and lots that you can do with word clouds today now, all of the images I showed you were created with Tagzito. This is a wonderful program, and I'm going to be giving you some tips specifically on how to use it in just a minute. But the reason that I picked Tagzito to focus on is even though I looked at a number of others, and there were two others that I would like to point out, the first one, Tag Crowd, which gives you the very simple uh, word clouds on the website, EffectiveChurchCom.com. It goes into how to do these to check, for example, your church's website. Tag Crowd is useful for that, but it won't do any of the fancy graphic stuff. You can't change the colors. won't do any of that kind of thing. Another one, though, that does create very nice word clouds is a very popular program with a lot of teachers today called Wordly. This is excellent as a tool to allow kids to, again, analyze content, things like that. The problem is you cannot save it in a graphic design format right from the program itself. You have to have a screen capture or something like this, and it's, it's very difficult to do anything with it other than just use it online or save it online. So many of the other programs, you can do a word search for word clouds, they do fun things, but the biggest problem with most of them is how you modify and save them. Many of them, you just, you just couldn't do it, or it was, it was too hard to do. Or some, you couldn't save it in Vista. You, I could in XP. I mean, it's crazy stuff like that. But Tagzito does create, I found, some of the really most colorful, easy to use as graphics, tag clouds and word clouds. It does have a few challenges, and I want to apologize up front in that one of the biggest challenges with it is even though I tried for a week, I could not figure out a way to actually um, record with Camtasia, the program that I used to create all of these videos. I could not get it to work with Tuxedo. I tried different computers, different operating systems. I will not bore you with the many, many different things I tried. It simply would not do that. Um, it also would not allow me to take screen captures once I got into the program. Now, I was able to take one or two screen captures and I will show you some of the basic commands, but I won't be able to actually walk you through it. So it's kind of one of those, trust me, it's a great program. It's not hard, but I can't show it to you in the detail that I usually do. All of that said, for my money, it's still the best free program out there for creating tag clouds and word clouds that you can use as graphic images. Now, let me just give you a few tips when you create a word cloud that are useful throughout any of the different programs. The first one is that the number of words that you use determines the size 
of the word in the word cloud. What that means is my phrase here, for example, on women of the word. I repeated that phrase a number of times. That's why it's the largest. And you just copy paste, copy paste into whatever dialog box that you're using. And the more times you have it there, the larger it will be. When, of course, you are doing a word cloud of your website, that's why it analyzes and tells you which terms are most important on the website. You can't modify that, but you can when you're creating your own. Now, in some typefaces, um, upper and lowercase works, as it did here with Women of the Word. But in this one, I obviously, when I first typed it, I capitalized Bible, Jesus, and God. In this typeface, though, it does not have any upper and lowercase, so it just doesn't do it that way. There's nothing that you can do to change this. It'll either be in the typeface or it isn't, but just be prepared for that. Also, and this seems consistent throughout the different programs, you use a tilde, this little image right here, to link words together. You see I have summer, tilde, Sunday, tilde, school, fathers, tilde, day. This will link words together. You find it on your keyboard just above the tab key on your keyboard. Now, in some programs, they'll be tightly linked together. In Taxedo, you can see how this is still a phrase. The words aren't all up and down and things like that, but it will intersperse other words in between. Um, also here, Summer Sunday School, I linked that. Um, you can see they're the same color. Again, you can see they are a phrase, but it does have other little words interspersed and around them. Some will do that, some won't, but if you want to link any phrase in any way, you do it through the tilde. Also, too, in um, a program like Taxedo, um, it originally came with a little uh, name of the company down here at the bottom. I didn't want it on there. So just use your cropping tool after you save the image and you can crop that out. There's nothing wrong with doing that. And you then have um, just the image itself. Okay, let's go now to Taxedo itself. This is what it looks like when you bring it up. It's just www.taxedo.com. Now, you may need Silverlight, which is a Microsoft plugin uh, to run the program. I'm sort of thinking that may have been why I had all the problems with it, but without Silverlight, it will not run. Um, many of the new programs already have this installed. If yours doesn't, a little box will come up, you follow the prompts, you download it. Now, there's a couple of things you can do to start Taxedo. You can either hit the Start button, and it will take you to the dialog box I'll show you in just a minute, or you can create a uh, word cloud out of either your website, your Twitter, um, news headlines, whatever you would like, it will create a, a word cloud. Now, let me just show you what happens when I create it, when I put in my website, EffectiveChurchCom.com. Let me show you what came up. I was just thrilled. Doesn't that look cool? I mean, can you imagine the hours it would have taken to construct that? And with Taxedo, I mean, one click and boom, there it was. And um, I was also thrilled because uh, church communications, that's what the site's about, and that's what came up the biggest. Let me just show you a couple other variations that I just clicked on different colors, slightly different alignments with it. Um, here's another one, different typeface, different colors, um, and here's another one. Needless to say, I just, I just love these. I think they make absolutely fantastic graphics, things that you can use. So um, if you just want to see how a website will come out, do that. You never know what will come up. But in many cases, you want to do other things. So you can either click Start Here or Start Now. doesn't matter. It will take you, if you don't fill in something here, it will take you to a box that looks like this. Now, they already have a tag cloud in it. Just ignore that. I'm assuming that that changes at different times of the year. And now, um, as I said, I can't go through the specific things, but I will point out to you some of the different commands. This is a program that I think is still in development, and so some of their uh, commands aren't as clear as they could be. Load is how you actually start a program once you get to the screen. A dialog box will come up, and that's what you put your different words into, remembering 
that if you want the word to be larger in your tag cloud, your word cloud rather, um, you just repeat it a number of times. So you do that and then in the dialog box it will say to submit and pretend that there is a um, uh, a word cloud that's popped up here. Now one of the first things that I like to do after I get my word cloud is I go over here and I change the shape to a circle or square. This is just something, it's a personal thing, but I have found if I do that it kind of groups the words together nicely. Um, it doesn't have hard edges, it doesn't make it an exact square or circle, but I seem to like what that does. You can always undo it if you don't like that, but that's what I do next. Next, um, you will really oftentimes want to play around with the colors. Now, this is a slightly confusing thing because color is not what changes the color. If you reshuffle this command, it keeps the same, what they call theme, the same color scheme but it will just shift the color of the different words all within that same color scheme. If you want to totally change this, this is the command you hit. And um, they have fantastic, wonderful, absolutely beautiful color themes. All of the examples that I showed you, those are all just themes out of their different set. Now once you find a color uh, theme that you like, you can lock it, you click here, and you can, or you don't need to click any of these, they can continue to change, but if you like something, if you see something you really like, you can lock it. Then you can change the font, you can change the orientation, make it all horizontal, all vertical, a mixture, whatever you want. Now, once you've come up with a number of different ones, you then click on History, which I'll show you what comes up in just a minute. But after you click on History, then uh, one box will come up, and that's when you save it. This Save command, and this is the wonderful thing about Taxedo, this allows you to save it as a graphic file in a number of different sizes, resolutions. It's really one of the best things about it. So let me just show you what comes up when you hit history, but remember that after that you save it and then you can use it in other programs. The history um, pane is, is fantastic. I only uh, did a screen grab of part of it. I was, I was able to grab that but it will it will go back if you've done a hundred different variations they'll all be there and you can see how I was playing around with the word cloud for church communications there was this one with this uh, typeface and I kinda liked it but then I thought well let me try another typeface and I didn't like that at all so I changed it to this one and then I tried this one and then I tried different colors and different orientations and then finally I just by playing around with things, I tried, well, I tried this one and I thought, ooh, I really like that. And so then I just kept switching the color themes. And uh, this is the one that I, I like the most and, and will probably use it more in, in some different things that I'm doing. So remember, once you come up with that, you, it will, uh, you click on it, it will take you back to that first screen, and then you save it as a graphic file, and you can use it in all sorts of things. Finally, just experiment with Tagzito. It is really not difficult to use. I pointed out some of the areas that you might want to remember, but you can create great word clouds with it. All of the different images on this page were all created with Tagzito. And if you're wondering about these images, all of the images themselves plus all of the postcards that I created are available to members of Effective Church Communications as a free download, both of the individual images, um, the PDF ready to print of all of them, and the Microsoft Publisher files if you want to modify them and add some things specific to your churches. So for more resources, please um, go to EffectiveChurchCom.com, become a member of Effective Church Communications, and you'll not only get all of the different word clouds that I created for Summer, Father's Day, uh, available right there for you, but every week there are new materials, new training, new things that will help you create more Effective Church Communications. And may the Lord greatly bless you as you serve Him today.